Okay, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the new feature that has been added to the Theta Edge node. It's called Video Encoding. So stay tuned. Okay, this is an article on medium.com regarding the video encoding titled Theta Edge Node adds new video transcoding jobs the first step in Theta tackling the 1.1 billion dollar annual transcoding market. Theta Edge Network is the leading blockchain powered network for decentralized video delivery with more than 7,000 edge nodes across the world. Edge nodes currently provide content over the fully decentralized Theta Edge network with no centralized servers involved of any kind. Recently, Edge Node also added the capability for users to contribute their excess CPU GPU computing power to process jobs for folding at home, the world's first distributed supercomputer dedicated to medical efforts such as protein folding for vaccine research. If you aren't already running, you can start running one by downloading it here. Now Edge Node Compute is launching a new type of job for video transcoding. Video transcoding is a process of changing video files from one encoding format to another. To change file formats in a different bitrate for example. This is a critical function utilized by all video platforms including Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney and others to ensure video can reach the greatest number of users with different video players. Internet speeds, latency and other factors that call for different video formats. According to the global consultancy firm Markets and Markets, today's centralized video transcoding coding industry generates 1.1 billion dollars in annual revenue and is expected to grow by 15 percent per year into 2022 and beyond. It's a massive market and only growing bigger with more media and entertainment content moving to video. So this new video encoding feature is in test mode right now and only doing encoding for videos from the Theta.tv application, but they will be moving to open that up to whoever wants to use it at some point. They have allocated 150,000 T-Fuel per month to this feature. Once it becomes available to the big players named, those players of course will be responsible for purchasing T-Fuel to pay for the service. So basically this video encoding is a second type of job that the Edge Compute does. So it's doing folding at home and now it's also doing the video encoding. One of my viewers had indicated that when they saw the video encoding kick off a job that the folding at home paused until the video encoding was done which now that I've read this article that makes sense. I had stated in an earlier video that uh, I expected that folding at home was only the first of many things to come as far as using the supercomputer that the Edge Compute is creating. It's a virtual supercomputer if you will because right now well, it said in the article that there were 7,000 Edge nodes online but as of the other day, there was 7,600, 7,700, somewhere in there. And it's going to get much, much bigger, I suspect. I believe that edge nodes will number in the hundreds of thousands, if not perhaps millions of them. So every time they add something new like this, it's more demand on T-Fuel, which is going to have the benefit of driving the price of T-Fuel higher. And so we'll all benefit from that. 
I'm going to make a prediction that as they think of more uses for the edge compute, there will be a bidding war, if you will, where you'll be able to tell your edge node threshold of price per job to where it'll automatically select the jobs that are paying the most for you. It only makes sense that they would do that, but I don't see any documentation anywhere that says that, but that's just my theory. Think of the supercomputer that is the edge compute as a more powerful CPU with more cores. The more cores that a CPU has, the more powerful that CPU is. And what they have created with this edge compute function is essentially a 7000 plus core supercomputer and it's only going to get bigger so how many different things out there could tap into that processing power could this be skynet rising <laughs> not really well who knows could be but at any rate if you ain't in theta yet uh, you're missing the boat get it done i hope this was helpful to you hope that you found it interesting except for that boring reading at the beginning of it but had to do it so if you liked it hit that thumbs up on the way out and i'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.